Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So I was looking at the Facebook Marketplace and I ran across this Honda 185S. And I said to myself, do I really need another another bike? He was after a 450 for this and he had it up for quite a while and it wasn't sold or at least it was still listed. So I threw him a uh, Hail Mary and said, yo, is it available? And he got right back to me. So I went out and I took a look at it and you could see here it is in all of its glory. This is the better side. <laughs> As you fly over the seat and get to this side, one can see part of the fenders missing. It's got a vice grip shifter and the uh, recoil is off. He says it tends to stick. He put an LED headlight on it and he said it was uh, still alive. Um, I've, I've done the LED swap without putting a diode and a um, large capacitor in there to kind of give you a little DC power. And f for me, what happens is the headlight blows right out. So, I don't know. Maybe it's live, maybe it's not. One can see from the tires, it's got that um, Blockbuster front tire on it. Somebody told me these were available at every Sam's Club or Walmart in the world. That's why I see so many of these. And you can see the back, what is that known as the Chevron look. This is a well-worn machine. I got it for, what did I pay for this one? This one was 300. So it will be interesting to see if it comes back to life. I mean, I'll show you on the next video. It does have an air cleaner on it, a foam air cleaner that looks more or less intact. He said, this thing died of sitting this was pushed behind the shed and he said that it um it was basically sitting there he wasn't using it because between the stripped out lever and he bought that one and we'll go through that one in the second video so he pushed it behind the shed and there it sat but if you check out the gas tank i mean that's a mighty pretty gas tank and the gas actually smells pretty good, so he says it's out for like four years. I think that gas smells a little too good to be for four years. So I'm not, I'm really, really not sure. Um, the, the guy who was selling these, I was in touch with him last night. And then this morning I was supposed to hear from him at about 11 o'clock. I sent him a text and said, yo, you there? And I didn't hear anything. A little more time went by. Then I called him, and it sounds like I woke him up. So he reminded me of, uh, I'm dating myself talking about this movie, but Fast Times at Ridgemont High. He was like the uh, Spicoli character. Um, and from the looks of his eyes and so forth, I think he kind of was... <sighs> Spicoli reincarnated, obviously many years later, like 25 years later. Anyway, so, whenever you get a bike, you always ask, what are my plans? What am I going to do with this thing? I'm first thing I'm going to do is try to get this thing running. Um, so, for the 300 bucks, i got to tell you, a gas tank that looks that good is worth the first C-note, and the recoil start is worth... The second C note. So between the engine and everything else, I'm sure I have another hundred dollars worth of parts. So um, I'm happy I can get around this one without uh, too much trouble. So my plans, I, I bought it for the cost of parts, but my plan for it is to bring it back to life. This is not the recoil see there's no opening here for this engine this engine has a um, K 
cable lever compression release. Anyway, so I'm hoping to get this running and just turn it into a ripper and drive it about and have some fun with it. So there we are. Um, I'm going to end this video because sometimes people are interested in Honda 200S's but they could care less about a four wheel and some of them care about the four wheels but could care less about the Honda 200S. So let me finish this here. Oh, and the exhaust is uh, blown out of it. It's missing some of, the, some of the chain guard. And when you push it around, it's got kind of a clunky sound. So the rear end is not, the bearings aren't shot. Like if you move it around, it's it seems stable, but it is clunking. So it might have a worn out chain. Anyway, so project number one, let's talk about project number two.